Hello, I've been asked a few times how I make the photos for my video intros, so I thought I'd show you how I do it. Now I use a program called Paint 3D, and that's available to download from the Microsoft Store. Now once you've got that, just right click on a photo that you want to use, and then click on Edit with Paint 3D. And that will automatically open it. What you want to do now is click this button here called Magic Select. Now this leaves a grid around the car. There are step-by-step -step instructions written alongside here and they're nice and easy to follow. So what I do is I drag this down like that and I drag that across and there and also there. Then click Next when you're happy with that. Right, as you can see, all this black is the background that's been removed. And it has left some, so to get rid of this, there are two buttons up here. There's an Add and a Remove. So you want to click the Remove button, and then what I will do is I will draw a line down like that. And that's completely taken away all of that, so that's good. Now, if you do something and you're not happy with it, there's an arrow up here called undo. So if you click on that it will put it back to how it was. And there's also another button called redo. So if you click on that it will redo it for you. Okay so there's a few other bits I want to get rid of. So make sure you're still on the remove button and I will just do a little line down there. So that's taken away from underneath that wheel and then there's just a little bit here to tidy up. So I should do that there. Okay, so there's a few more bits in between the wheels that I'd like to remove. So I should just do a small line there. And I should just continue around both wheels getting rid of these gaps. Okay. Sometimes when you remove something, it does put it back somewhere else. I don't know why, but that's what it does. So all you've got to do is just remove that again. Okay. So when you're finished, you click this button here called Done. Now you're left with a grid around the car. So you just click and hold and then drag that to one side. Now what you want to do is find your background photo. So I want to use this one and all you do with that is drag it across and that will load onto the program. So to finish off you click on the car and this brings up another box. So now you can click and hold and you can drag that into position and you can also shrink it or enlarge it. As you can see, there's some small little white squares there in each corner. So I will drag this down and I bring it so it's just below the Holly Hill sign. And I will also drag that down a bit more because there's a little bit left on the bottom of the wheel there, which we don't really want to see. And that'll do. So once you're happy with it, you can then just click on the background itself and that sets your car in place. Okay, once you're happy with that, you click in the top corner here on this button, which is the menu. This will open up another window, and then you click save as, and then you can save it as image. And once that's loaded, you then have another option here and you can save it in various different formats. I tend to save it in JPEG. Uh, you can adjust the width and the size if you want or pixels to percentage. I just tend to leave all that the same and then click save. And then you just title it and choose your folder where you want to save it. So for this demonstration I will just leave it as untitled and save it to the desktop. So click save. There we go. So once you've finished, just click the X at the top of the program 
it comes up with this box asking if you want to save your work within the program. I don't tend to bother. And there we go. So over here we have the finished picture called Untitled. So we'll have a look at that. So I just expand that and we can have a better look. OK, so as you can see, the gaps between the wheels are showing the background, as is the driver's cockpit. And that's how I do a photo for my video intro. I hope you found this useful. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.